It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Ludwig Active Brewery and it's called Coconuts Imperial Stout coming in at 12.5% ABV. There's a look at the can. On the side of the can, I like this, it says craft beer is dead. We killed it with vanilla. I like that. As you can see, the can is already open. The reason being is my wife. I bought this beer today in the bottle shop, brought it home. My wife looked, oh, what lovely pink can, picked it up. And she said, I'll come out of retirement just for this can of beer. So, so I said to her, crack on, crack on, review the beer, review it before me, but I said, leave me half. So this is my half, here we go. If you wanna check out, I'm gonna do a shameless plug now for my wife's channel. If you wanna ch check out my wife's channel, it's called Craft Beer Lady. She, she reviews every now and again. She's not, she's not as proactive as she used to be. She used to be reviewing beer at least three times a week, but it's gone down to, I don't know, probably if you're lucky once a month. Uh, but, but yeah, she uploads every now, when she feels like it, every now and again. On with the beer review. One finger, tan colored head, dissipated quite a lot. That head's hanging on. It's, do you know, it's not, it's not jet black in the glass. If I hold the glass at that angle, you can see some light bleeding through the bottom of the glass there. Can you see that? So it, it's more of a dark, dark brown ale, but it's 12.5% ABV. There's a little bit of alcohol legs going on in the glass as well. Let's get the aroma. Cheers. <laughs> wow. Touch of brown sugar. A ton, a ton of vanilla. And then you get some, what's the word? What's that brown sugar, the dessert? Creme brulee, that's it, creme brulee. You know, I used to say that when I was a bar manager last year, I used to get my blowtorch out, put some sugar on the top of a this, this cake thing, and I'm not a dessert person and then burn the, the sugar until it went brown and yeah it smells like creme brulee it also do you know you get it these london shops that's that'll sell you a handbag for a thousand pound and they'll justify that by saying it's a luxury handmade handbag it was it was made on the moon by, by miners from, from North Wales. Um, if, you, if, you really, if you really wanted to, to smell luxury in a glass, this would be it. it. Smells terrific. There's some chocolate, coffee, caramel flavors coming through on top of that fantastic coconut creme brulee flavour. Let's dive in. Cheers. Molasses. Tons and tons of molasses coming through as well. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, vanilla, coconut. Creme brulee. This is a tremendous beer. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. This can has been sitting there for the best part of an hour and a half open. My wife, my wife, 
my wife reviewed it at seven o'clock this evening. It's now half past eight. I've done a couple of cheeky IPAs that I also picked up from the beer shop and she put this to the side and said, you have to review this one. And for a beer at 12.5% ABV, it's been sat open on the counter for an hour and a half. It still has carbonation. It's still bursting with flavor. Look at that. Look at that. Terrific, absolutely terrific beer. Mouthfeel, chocolate, coffee, caramel flavors. That should really equal big, thick, bold, fat mouthfeel. It does, it does. If you think of dripping warm, hot chocolate, just grab a chocolate bar, put it in a pan, warm the pan up, you'll have some liquid chocolate. You can imagine when that cools down slightly, it's gonna be thick and you know imagine pouring that into your mouth you know that thick chocolate think of coffee espresso coffee lattes big thick lovely coffee and the same with caramel that little bit of sweet caramel too sticky lovely it's it's all it's all in the mind you think about these flavors you think about what you would try them if they were a solid food and then you put that over without even knowing you're doing it. You push it over in, into that glass of beer and you expect it and it delivers on a grand scale. Even even coconut milk. Have you ever, have you ever made a Thai curry on, on the stove there? Not, not my stove, but your stove. Have you ever made a Thai curry? And you open the can of coconut milk and it's got a thick density to it it's beautiful it's creamy on the back side of the can you know it's it's a lovely stickiness thickness to it that's what you get with the with the mouthfeel in this beer i'm ready to rate it I'm going to rate this beer and I, I, I just think, for me, Lervig, and I've got a funny connection with Lervig because I was drinking their beer before they went super huge and before they, for me, Lervig now have taken what Nergne, Nognato, Nognato, what Nognato, Nognato were to the UK beer industry because they're both from Norway. Everybody wanted to try Nergneo from, say, 2010 to 2015 at a push. I would say from 2016, 17, 2018, Lervig have been the company to take on what Nergneo did. Uh, Nergneo were, were bought out by a big company. Um, they still produce good beer, but I think once that happens, I think they probably lost a little bit of credibility. Lervig is still a, a, an independent company, and boy, are they reaping the rewards of producing incredible beer. I'm, 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 that's it, it's come to me. The first beer I reviewed from Lervig was Conrad Stout and way back I don't know maybe six years ago now six years ago I said Conrad Stout by Lervig is one of the best beers I've ever tried and back then they were unheard of in the UK absolutely unheard of nobody knew of this company what makes me smile what makes me happy 
is the fact that Nergne have not only now got a fantastic reputation around the world, not just Norway, not just the UK, but America, everywhere. Lerving have got a fantastic reputation, but they've held their quality. Their quality is still up here, still up here. And that's what I love about this company. So Lerving Coconuts Imperial Stout at 12.5% ABV. I'm gonna rate it and I'm gonna give it a terrific 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Reload Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom and cheers.